Hi, we're Ava. We provide open, cloud-native video security that is simple to use and packed with smart analytics. In this short video, we'll show you how to set up role-based access profiles for your AVA-aware camera deployment. With role-based control, only relevant parties get access to your camera feeds and video footage. You can also separate the permissions so different levels of users get different levels of access. Let's get started. On the AWARE platform, select Users to view a list of user groups that have already been configured into the system. In our case, we're going to create new roles to reflect the permissions we want to grant to a user. Below the list of existing roles, click the plus to create and name a brand new role that can take only the relevant permissions. This includes the ability to view live and historic video, listen to any audio or audio events, share video, control PTZ, unlock access control points, and leverage top-down on third-party cameras. You can also allow full permissions to this user with a simple click, but in this case, we're going to select the specific tools and the specific level of access across the platform we want to grant to this user. By default, the user will be granted read-only access to all the added tools, allowing you to go in and add permissions where you want. Once you've configured this role, click Done, and then go into User Groups to apply those newly configured roles to specific cameras. You can see existing user groups, but you can also create a new one. This will allow you to specify what type of authentication is required, if the user can access the mobile app, and place a restriction on sign-in times. You can also apply any preferences and specify which devices this user has permissions to. We just created a brand new role, so we're going to use this permission level and apply it across only the organizations that should have that permission. You can also choose to add differing permissions for administrators or other roles to any other cameras that are specified within the environment. Once you've added your cameras, click Done. You've now defined your dynamic role-based access control. Lastly, if you'd like to leverage the single sign-on feature, click on SAML settings to edit your SAML configuration and point to any identity provider that you're using today. From here, you can also enable DMP Access, our deployment management portal. It's an opt-in model where you can allow partners or even third parties that are managing multiple systems to access your deployment remotely. This can be turned off in bulk or enabled to specific permission levels as required. You can also set this for a specific access period to allow a remote technician to access the system for a limited time. And that is user groups and role-based access control. Custom permission settings make your security footage safer and protect sensitive data from being shared with unauthorized users. You can allow certain individuals to have read access without being able to edit settings or you can provide global permissions to users quickly from the AWARE platform. All analytics, including access profiles, are available across all AVA cameras and can be extended to third-party cameras, providing you with unparalleled investment protection and flexibility. We're excited to see how you use it.